A judge in St. James Parish today heard from activists who are suing the parish for allowing the increased production of one of the plants out there. Uh, dubbed Cancer Alley lawyers say the increase will worsen an already dire situation. Eleanor Tabone has that story. I've lived in St. James Parish all my life, yeah. and it's home to me. For those who live in St. James Parish, this part of southeast Louisiana is their pocket of serenity. At one time we had clean air, we had uh, clean soil, we could plant a garden, go walk out of your house, go into your garden, and pick your fresh vegetables. And we can't do that anymore. Now it's dubbed Cancer Alley. Residents like Sharon Levine fear the health risk is about to get worse. We are not going to live. If these plants continue to expand, we will not be able to live. Activists and residents went before a judge Monday suing St. James Parish. The lawsuit reads, St. James Parish officials must follow their own land use ordinance when permitting industrial projects within their own community because they must and because they did not when granting Coke Methanol's request to expand its operations, including into local wetlands. Petitioners respectively request that this court vacate the parish's permitting decision. The parish's decisions over decades have landed this community and the community in the 5th district in the 95th to 100th percentile in the country for the highest risk of cancer. The plant produces methanol, an ingredient used to make clothes, cosmetics, paints, plywood and adhesives, and has been open since 2018. Lawyer Pam Spears on behalf of Tulane Law Clinic sent a letter last year to the parish. It highlights a long list of chemicals the plant could emit, including arsenic, which she says can lead to serious illnesses like lung cancer. The residents in the parish have long been calling for years now for a moratorium on heavy industrial uses. Residents say they're simply sick and tired of being sick and tired. Every day we breathe the foul air, we drink the water and live on the contaminated land that industry has poisoned. Eleanor Tabone, WWL, Louisiana. Coke Methanol plant manager Josh Wiggins said in part, quote, we are confident that the district court will affirm the thorough work our team did to meet all federal, state and local requirements on this project and upholding the Planning Commission's decision to grant a land permit. St. James Parish Council Chairman Ryan Logue said he would not comment because of the pending litigation. Today's judge requested each side submit additional briefs before making a decision.